if you're trying to upgrade to Windows 8.1 from Windows 8 and VirtualBox and you get this message, continue watching this video and I'll show you how to get Windows 8.1 Pro successfully installed. Okay, here we are in VirtualBox Manager, and the first thing you want to make sure is that when you go under General, you want to make sure the version is set to Windows 8.1 64-bit, or you will get that error. But once you make sure that's set, then you basically go into your Windows 8.1 running on your VirtualBox, your VM, go to the Start screen, and go to the Store. And here you see that it says update windows. Uh, they have different categories of apps that are available to download. And if you don't see that immediately, you should see that within a few hours or days. But if you click on that, that takes you to where you can download the Windows 8.1 Pro installer. So you basically want to click on the purple download button. and then that starts the install and that could take depending upon the speed of your internet connection could take anywhere from 20 minutes to several hours so here we're just move along to where you need to restart it after it uh, continues down finishes downloading so here we are restarting So here it is booting back up again. And it's taking a little bit longer than usual because it's actually starting the uh, upgrade install to the 8.1. So here you can see it's setting it up, and again this is going to take a little bit of time, so I'll pause it from time to time here to jump ahead to the next section of the install. Now it says applying PC settings, so we could do that for again anywhere from a few minutes to 20-30 minutes. Okay, and then it restarted again. Okay, so here it says it's setting up a few more things. So it's, it's finishing up the install. And now it says getting ready. Okay, and here it is booting up into Windows 8.1 for the first time. So, accept the license terms. And you can use the express settings. Here I'm going through the customize section. And again, you can you could make your own decisions about what you want on and off. Uh, these are just the settings I quickly made in regards to Windows Update and different privacy settings so again you can choose your own don't have to go by what I'm choosing here just kind of showing you what's available if you don't do the express setup okay and then now it's gonna set up your account 
Now you can do a Microsoft account or a local account, but I'm going to show uh, how to do here. I'm going to do a Microsoft account. So I set up my Microsoft account, which I already had. And now it's basically finishing up the install after putting all the uh, settings in. And here we are back at the start screen of Windows 8.1. You can get to the charms bar and click on settings. And if you click on the desktop, you can see the new start button on the left there. And the applications will run. You can test them to make sure that the install went correctly. So here I am starting up Internet Explorer and making sure it comes up correctly and actually gets online. Make sure, make sure there's nothing wrong with your network connection. And this is just me making sure that it goes to my uh, my website here and make sure it's not a cached copy. So I was able to successfully get online, so that's fine. And here you want to make sure that you install the new guest editions. So you click go up to the device and click on install guest edition. And then you go into your computer and go to the virtual CD-ROM drive and double click on that. And then you want to double click on the VBox uh, install program here. And that will install the addition, so click yes. In the bottom left there you can see the icon for that, so just keep on clicking next to accept all the defaults. And click on install. And that installs the guest editions, which will speed up your mouse control and also the video and give you some extra features like able to uh, resize the window. And even if you had all that already installed in uh, Windows 8 on your VirtualBox virtual machine, by upgrading to Windows 8.1, you have to reinstall it. But it's really, as you can see, not too much of a, of a problem. It takes a few minutes. And it'll ask you to restart your computer. So here I am restarting it. And here I am back into Windows 8.1 after... In, uh, install the guest editions and click on the desktop and here I'll basically show that now you can resize the window so instead of the square window there I get a more 16 by 9 ratio here takes a second and if you actually right click on the desktop and go to resolution you can see what the resolution was changed to by dragging it and you can customize that to whatever you want and click here once on the start menu and you can right click on it and get your different options on how to shut down sign out and restart your computer which is one of the nice features of Windows 8.1 and also once you get to your start screen if you go back into the bottom left corner, you'll see the start button come up again and I'll let you toggle back to the desktop. If you'd like to see more Windows 8, Android, or Beginners videos, click on one of these video clips and also consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you.